Part 2 of this video is about the modification to the plan. There are two things that can be changed very easily. First one is stability, and then the payload. The width of the boat of the current design is 28 inches, and you can easily extend it to 30, 31, 32 inches. At 28 inches, it works well for me because I'm not that big. But if I'm going into a bigger boat, as you can see, my pedal may be hitting the gunnel. So it would be good to design a bigger boat for a bigger person. By increasing the width of the boat, it brings another benefit. That is, it will increase the amount of weight the boat can carry. Let's take a look at how we calculate the payload. It's all based on the Archimedes principle, something we learned in high school. It's a little bit wordy here. It's better to look at an example. Assume the draft of your boat is at 6 inches and the width of the boat is 1 foot and the length of the boat is 3 feet. The volume of the section that is submerged into the water is about 1.5 cubic feet. The buoyance force, that is the payload that the boat can carry, is equal to the volume times the water density. Fresh water's water density is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. This translates to this boat, a 6 inches draft. It can handle 93.6 pounds. The floor of Gen 9 kayak is very simple. It is made up of two triangles, one in the front, one at the back, and also the mid section is just a rectangle. I created this simple calculator for my Gen 9 boat. At 3 inches draft, it can handle 227 pounds. This including the weight of the boat, which is around 15 pounds. So in reality, it can carry around 212 pounds weight. And my body weight today plus the boat is around 150 pounds. So the estimation is pretty accurate. And my daughter at 100 pounds, so her draft was at one and a half inch. Say if I want to carry more low and increase the beam of the width of the boat to 30 inches, then at 3 inches draft, it can handle 243 pounds minus 15 pounds, which is the weight of the boat. And if I increase it to 32 inches, at 3 inches draft, the boat can handle 260 pounds minus 15 pounds. So it will be 245 pounds. The area for the bow and the stern sections are the same. I plan to build another Gen 9 Plus boat at 26 inches width. And at this width, and at draft of 2 inches, it can handle 140 pounds. It will be narrower, and this will be a better configuration for my daughter for her weight, which is around 110 pounds. This is not exactly the same plan I posted on my website, but it is good enough to do the illustration here. The plan showed that 10 inches, 9 inch here, and 9 inch here, so that the overall width is 28 inches. If you add more stability, you can just change this number 9 to 10 and then this change to 10 then you grow the width to 30 inches so if you go to 30 inches what, what do you need to change? there isn't much you need to do other than moving everything up once you extend this line to, third, to, to 10 inches or 11 inches you just again join the line at the same point and the uh, and the space here will still be five inches since you have not changed this dimension. What what this means? Uh, this at five inches is when this side and that side add together is ten inches. 
if you do this 12 inches, then that means you want 6 inches. So you just modify that. From here to here is 2 inches. Same here, right? But when you go to 10, you may want to extend it to 2 and a quarter inches because you see the triangle extend it further. At the front, uh, from here to here is 10 inches. I elevate for 2 inches here. At the back, I didn't elevate that 2 inches. So end up I have uh, roughly about 14 inches in the front, about 12 inches at the back. Uh, the, the, the middle is around 9.5 inch. Because I elevated the front for 2 more inches. When you work with Coral Plus, most likely you have a tolerance about quarter quarter of an inch. Around that it will be good enough. I'm going to discuss how I optimize the length of waterline in my next video. I haven't seen anyone done something similar. Hopefully you will find that useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye bye.